This is Russell High School Sports on GreenUpBeacon.com. This live video streaming webcast is an exclusive presentation by the Green of Beacon and First and People's Bank and Trust. Russell Sports Action is also brought to you by Ohio University Southern, Our Lady of Belfont Hospital, Carmen Funeral Home, Stultz Pharmacy, Meredith Chiropractic, Ashland Community and Technical College, and the Sungate Alpaca Company. Russell Sports on GreenUpBeacon.com and its webcast team. Hank Bond, Keith Atkins, Brittany Hoback, Ryan Uralt, Evan Tice, and Kristen Keaton. First and People's Bank has six convenient locations to serve you. From South Shore to the main office, First and People's Bank has been serving this area with complete banking services since 1932. Visit the home office near you, First and People's Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We are the home office. Come visit any of our six locations. Our patients are priority number one. For the seventh straight year, Our Lady of Belfont Hospital has received Health Grades Outstanding Patient Experience Award, and the hospital continues to be placed in the top 5% in the nation for outstanding patient experience. Our Lady of Belfont Hospital says thank you to our patients for this People's Choice honor. Our Lady of Belfont Hospital on a mission for good health for you and your family. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Marv Meredith Gymnasium and Russell High School Lady Red Devils Basketball. I'm Keith Atkins filling in for the legendary Hank Bond tonight, Kristen Keaton doing the camera work for us. We have the Russell Lady Red Devils hosting the Rowan County Lady Vikings tonight. Lady Vikings are Headed up by Coach Elaine Douglas, and uh, they're coming in this game at 12 and 10 overall, 5 and 6 in the region, 2 and 5 in the district. Last game was against Augusta High School, and they pulled off a win, 53 to 40. Lady Red Devils are coming in to uh, this game, 16 and 9 overall, 9 and 7 in the region, 3 and 3 in the district. They uh, dropped their last game to Lewis County, 38 to 46. So we'll be uh, have an interesting matchup tonight. Looks like, looking at the numbers, pretty evenly matched up sides here. So both for some good clean action out there tonight. Glad you all could join in with us. Uh, wish Hank Bond safe travels as he'll be back with us tomorrow night here at Marv Meredith Gymnasium as the Lady Red Devils take on the Kittens from Ashland. We expect to see a good crowd out for that. About two and a half minutes away from starting lineups here. You're watching Red Devil Basketball on thegreenupbeacon.com. Stoltz Pharmacy is now offering patients compounding for their prescription needs. Stoltz Pharmacy is the only pharmacy in the area that is PCCA certified. We can provide you with hormone replacement, neuropathy creams, scar creams, pediatric prescriptions, and we can even help you with your veterinarian needs. If you have any questions, please call 606-834-1052. That's 834-1052. Stoltz Pharmacy in Greenup Flatwoods in Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stoltz Pharmacy. I go to Ashland Community and Technical College. Because it's so close. I go. For the small class sizes. I go. Because if I can transfer my credits. I go because. I can take classes when it works for me. I go to get a better job. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons, Ashland Community and Technical College. Higher education begins here. Visit the Sungate Alpaca Company to experience the vibrant cultural heritage of South America and discover the extraordinary luxury fabric called alpaca. Wrap yourself in a stylish alpaca scarf Transform your living room by adding texture and color with a hand-loomed alpaca throw blanket and add a little extra warmth and cozy fashion with an alpaca hat and matching gloves. Visit SungateAlpaca.com for all your alpaca needs. Find us on Facebook for special deals and inventory updates. Shop Sungate Alpaca. Welcome back to Red Devil Basketball here in Marv Meredith Gymnasium. We're about 30 seconds away from starting lineups now. Both teams have come to the uh, sidelines. Red Devils coached by Coach Mandy Lane. She's getting the team over there ready to go and fired up. About 20 seconds away. We 
Take a live look in now at the Rowan County bench. tip-off action here at Marvin Meredith Gymnasium, Russell High School. Lady Red Devils hosting the Lady Vikings tonight. Here we go. There's our tip, and Russell controls. Mitchell drives, she gets blocked underneath. County brings it down, kicks it up to Banduras. He brings the top of the key to Plank. Plank over to Callahan. Tries to get inside. Blocked by Huddleston. Brown County still controls. Works inside. Purdy trying to get nothing from there. Nothing. Callahan from outside hits the three. Brown County showing full court pressure. Darnell over to Maynard. Maynard gets the ball across the timeline. Jack and Suck inside to Huddleston. Count the basket and get the foul. Foul goes against Mitchell of Rowan County. Shuts up. Rose off the rim. Rebound Russell. Darnell picks it up. Huddleston out front now. Over to Maynard. Maynard trying to work inside to Jack and Suck. Threw it away. 3-2 just underway here in the first period. Marvin Meredith Gymnasium. Russell comes down in full court pressure. Brown County breaks it pretty easily. Gets the ball inside. Taken away. Ball on the floor. Picked up by Huddleston. Huddleston will drive, spins around, nothing there. Good defense for Allen County. Throws it over to Maynard. Maynard tries to work inside of Justin Suck, taken away by Allen County. Here come the Lady Vikings. Callahan gets it out to Plank. Purdy in the corner. Picked up by Darnell to get it back out front to Plank. Brown County are reset now. Callahan on the wing. 
Looking inside, nothing doing. Three pointer for Plank. Take that one. 6 2 now, Round County up. Full court pressure. Huddleston breaks it, takes it in, good, dumps off to Jack and Sucks. She'll lay it up and good. Callahan controls the ball. She's got it over to Mitchell, taken away by Mitchell Russell, but she's fouled. Foul go against Callahan of Rowan County. That'll be her first. Red Devil ball, side out. Huddleston kicks it off to Darnell. Darnell drives, she'll take it up all the way, lays it up and in there. That'll tie us up here, six to six. Brown County breaks the pressure. Oakley gets called for steps. Puts the ball out. Brown County brings the pressure again. Darnell in the corner. She gets it out front to Mitchell. Breaks the pressure. Mitchell takes it in to jack himself. She'll lay it up and rolls off the rim. Gets her own rebound. Back up again. Misses again. Rebound Round County now. Here come the Lady Vikings. And they're going to throw it away there. Called for an old-fashioned over and back. Maynard then bounds to Huddleston. Lady Vikings drop back. Huddleston to the right side wing, dumps to Darnell. Darnell in the corner, looks back inside to Huddleston. Huddleston tried to come back out front to Maynard, but was picked off. Lady Vikings bring the ball across the timeline. Callahan thought about the three, changed her mind. Dumps it inside to Purdy, nothing there. Outside to Bandura, she misses the 15-footer. Rebound by Mitchell of Russell. Here come the Lady Devils. Mitchell driving coast to coast. Takes it all the way, lays it up too strong. Rebound by Callahan of Round County. Oakley, Oakley dumps inside to Purdy. She put it up no good. Ball's on the floor. Callahan controls for Round County. Blank sets up, calls her play. Side to Bandura, Bandura drops it off there to, let's see which number, uh, Purdy. She laid it up, but was fouled on the play, and she'll go to the free throw line now. Purdy's first shot is up and good. That'll put Round County back on top by one now. Shelby Watson checks in for the Red Devils. Maynard will take a break. Pretty second shot, up and good. No pressure from the Lady Vikings this time as they drop back in to half court defense. 3.52 left to play here in the first period. Darnell top of the key. She drives, kicks out to Mitchell. Mitchell drinks it in. Nothing doing. It's Huddleston. Huddleston tries to go inside of Jack and Suck, throws it away. See Rachel Mitchell check in now for Lady Devils. She's going to give Huddleston a break, it looks like. Down County inbounds. Russell showing full court pressure here. Vikings break it. Purdy puts it up. No good. Rebound by Darnell Russell. Lady Vikings leading by two now. Get Mitchell in the corner. Michael puts it up, no good. Long rebound on the floor. Russell controls, dumps it inside to Mitchell. She'll lay it up and good. Pretty, that's up top of key to Callahan. She'll put one up. Off the front and in, rebound strong out. Last touch by Round County, Russell Bowl. 
Shelby Huddleston will check back into the game for the Lady Devils. Darnell walking the ball down the court. Got her instructions. Loses control of the ball. Picked up by Callahan. She's starting to drive. She slows down, pulls out, hits Plank. Plank goes inside with it. Back to Callahan. She looked at three. No, nothing there. Oakley thought about it. Callahan on the corner. She'll pull up, take 15 footer, and good. Brown County goes back up by two. Full court pressure. Huddleston will break the press. Loses control of the ball, picks it back up. Hits Jackson up in the corner to Darnell at the free throw line, and Darnell gets picked off. Out front to Oakley. Oakley lays it up. Oh, and in and out. Gets her own rebound. Puts it up again. Jack and Sucker pull this one down. Kicks it off to Huddleston. Huddleston on the fast break. She's going to take it all the way. Lays it up. Rolls off. Rebound by Purdy of Rowan County. She kicks it down court to Callahan. She'll take it up for the left-handed layup. Up and good. Rowan County with a four-point lead now. 144 to play in the first period. Huddleston drives in, finds Ty Mitchell out on the wing for three. No good. Rebound by Callahan. Got Plank on the drive now. She'll pull it back up, slow things down. Sorry, that was Bandura. Now over to Plank. Plank will take the long three. Count it. Timeout on the floor now. 15 to 8. Round County on top. We'll be right back with Russell Basketball on the Green at Beacon.com. Choosing the right college is a big decision. Ohio University Southern offers more than 30 degree and certificate programs. Whether you're in Ohio or just across the river in Kentucky or West Virginia, our tuition is a best value in the area. Attend a world-class university and stay close to home with free parking. Ohio University Southern in Ironton and Proctorville. Imagine your possibilities. Enroll today. Visit ohio.edu southern or call 740-533-4600. Choosing the right. Welcome back to Lady Red Devils basketball here at Marv Meredith Gymnasium. Rowan County up 15 8 over the Lady Devils with a minute 19 to play in the first period as we get back to live action here. Red Devil ball moving right to left. Huddleston drives. Good defense by Lady Vikings. That's what I'm doing. There, Huddleston will break, break a hole, and she'll lay it up and in and girl the foul. Huddleston will go to the line, 72% free throw shooter. She misses that one, though. Rebound by Callahan of Brown County. She kicks it over to Bandura. And over to Plank. Plank to Oakley. Purdy and Jack and Suck working hard against each other under the basket. Plank will bring it out front. Reset. Callahan on the wing. She's been guarded by Michael. They try to go inside and throw it too hard. Over Oakley says. The Russell basketball. Jack and Suck will take a break, and Shelby Watkins will check in for her. Got Huddleston out front running the point for the Red Devils. She gets a pick from Watkins. Watkins will bring it over and hit Darnell to the drive and loop a little floater up and good. Levin to shoot for the Lady Vikings here in the first quarter. Callahan tried to dump it inside too hard. Bounced off the rim. Controlled by Rowan County. Callahan, top of the key. She dumps it inside to Purdy. Purdy will put it up at the buzzer. No good. So at the end of the one, Russell was trailing by three, 12 to 15. You're watching Lady Red Devil Basketball here on the Green at Beacon.com. 
I go to Ashland Community and Technical College. Because it's so close. I go. For the small class sizes. I go. Because I can transfer my credits. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go to get a better job. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons, Ashland Community and Technical College. Higher education begins here. Meredith Chiropractic. You will enjoy state-of-the-art chiropractic facilities and discover the true wellness lifestyle. Dr. Terry Meredith is a member of Great Doctors of Chiropractic and has helped many in the Ashland area experience natural healing without surgery or drugs. If you're looking for a skilled chiropractic doctor, visit MeredithChiropractic.com, call 329-8158, or visit Dr. Meredith's office at 2120 Carter Avenue in Ashland. Welcome to the second period here to Lady Red Devil Basketball, Rowan County Controls. Moving left to right on the screen, hit pretty at the foul line, split it up, no good. Rebound by Plant, or Bandura. Callahan from the side, too strong, goes out of bound. I believe it was off the head of Darnell. Yep, she's rubbing her nog in there. Be Rowan County Basketball. 15 to 12 is your score. Lady Vikings up by three. Jack and Suck will check back into the game. And Watkins will come back over and take a seat. She did her job as she gave the big center for Lady Red Devils a little breather. Brown County trying to work inside. Callahan from the wing. She looks at it, wants it. Decides not to take it. Huddleston got a hand on it. Got plank inside the Purdy. She'll put it up off the backboard. No good. Ball's on the floor. Be a tie up. That scenario belongs to the Lady Devils. Should give the Lady Devils a chance to tie or cut it to one here. We can get a good look at the basket. Mitchell on the wing. She dumps inside to Jack and Suck. She'll lay it up for two. Maynard with the assist on there. Plank sets up for the Lady Vikings. Works inside to Oakley. To Bandura, she'll put it up. Bounces off the rim, no good. Ball on the floor, rebound by Purdy. She'll put it up, too strong. Darnell pulls it down for Lady Devils. She'll bring the ball back down the court now. Huddleston drives in, hits Mitchell. Nope. Darnell. Huddleston. Works inside to Jack and Suck. Nice pass. Lays it up and in. That'll put Russell back on top by one now. Plank calls her play. It's Oakley on the corner. Tries to go inside to Purdy. Block, knocked away by Jack and Suck and she'll take it away. Here comes Maynard. Tried to get inside to Mitchell. Was taking a bay while around. County cross court pass. Darnell nabs that one. She hits Huddleston on the side. Huddleston tried to jump off to Jack and Suck and was picked off. And here come the Lady Vikings now. Things getting a little out of control there. Neither side was taking care of the basketball very well. Birdie, she'll take drive in, lay it up, and good. 17 16. Now your score 540 left to play in the half. Good look at Darnell as she brings the ball down and sets the play up. She'll hit Ty Mitchell on the wing. Mitchell brings around, hits Huddleston. Maynard wants it in the corner. She doesn't get it. Huddleston tries to go inside to Darnell and overthrows her. Rowan County will check back in. Mitchell. Frank walks the ball down for the Lady Vikings, sets her offense, hits Mitchell on the wing. Pandora was working the middle there, couldn't get nothing. Purdy, she'll drive in, lay it up, too strong. Rebound, Jack and Suck. It's Ty Mitchell on the run. Mitchell, gonna draw the whistle out there. Foul away. 
Mandora gets caught with a hand check for Allen County. That'll be her first. Be Russell Ball side out. Maynard inbounds to Darnell. Darnell back running the point. Gets a pick from Huddleston. Didn't help much. Finds Maynard. Maynard come up top of the key and drive in. Lay it up too strong. Rebound Round County. Got a whistle on the play. Call's going to go against Maynard of Russell. That'll be her first. 17-16. Lady Vikings up by one. Four and a half to go in the first half. Mandora hits inside to Mitchell. Mitchell wide open. She'll put up and good. Darnell controlling the ball. Gets the play from the sideline. Pick from Jackham's up. Darnell for 15-footer. No good. Rebound Rowan County. Comes Mitchell with Rowan. She drops it back over to Plank. Top of the key. Finds Bandura. Pretty inside. She'll pull up. 15-footer. No good. Rebound by Mitchell. She'll put it back up and good. Lady Vikings pulled out. Five-point lead here in the second period. Russell come out of the timeout pretty cold. But Maynard from the corner. She'll put up the three. No good. Rebound Mitchell. Nice hustle there. Puts it up and good. Mitchell come flying in from the right side wing and stole that rebound. Nice play. Bandura on the wing. Looking inside to Mitchell. Nothing doing. Back on top of the key. Tries to get inside the pretty and Darnell will tie her up. That scenario should stay with Rowan County. The wind bounds underneath their own basket. Plank to throw in. Picked off by Ty Mitchell. Here she comes, breaking the press. Found Huddleston for the layup. Russell brings the lead back to one now. They're trailing 21-20. Purdy takes it, lays it up and in for the easy basket. Darnell directing traffic, pulls up for dribble, gets it off to Huddleston. Huddleston, a little spin move there, nothing doing. Finds Maynard back to Darnell for three. Yes, sir, count it. That'll tie it up once again, 23-23. Two and a half left to go here in the first half. Inside the pretty, Bandura, she'll take the 15-footer and put that one in. Back and forth game here so far. Round County tried to pull out. Russell wouldn't let him. Stay tough, close that gap. Two-point game now. Two minutes to play. Darnell, top of the key. Russell resets the offense. Darnell gets a pick from Mitchell. Doesn't help. Tries to go inside of Jackson. So just about threw it away. Mitchell will run it down. Mitchell will drive back in. She dump, tries to dump off to uh, my, uh, Huddleston, but threw it too hard. Round County basketball with a two-point lead. We'll see Shelby Watkins check back in at the next dead ball. Bandura. Mitchell runs the middle, couldn't get it to her. Oakley, she'll pull up, take the shot. Wide open, too strong. Out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. Down County basketball. Ty Mitchell will take a break. Then Oakley back to Plank. Plank finds Purdy, she'll put it up. Gets a good roll. Brown County back up by four now with 125 to play. Huddleston brings the ball down the court for the Lady Devils. She finds Shelby Watkins. She'll throw it up. No good. Gets her own rebound. Fights. Puts it up again. No good. Rebound Round County. <coughs> Mitchell. Mitchell throws it away. She was, she was trying to hit Bandora over and Bandora was trying to break. 
No communication there. So it'll be Russell basketball with 105 left to play in the first half. Russell trailing by four, 27-23. Darnell, she tries to drive in. She'll draw the foul. Foul goes against Mitchell of Brown County. That's her second, so she's going to take a seat, and Callahan will check back in. That's the ball side out, and here's Darnell. Under a minute to play in the first half. Darnell loses control of the ball on the floor. Brown County controls. There's Oakley, lays it up. Too strong. Rebound by Ty Mitchell. She's breaking fast. She's going to go coast to coast. Takes it, lays a floater. No good. Ball is on the floor. Looks like uh, Russell's going to get called for the foul. That'll go against Mitchell. Rachel Michael checking in. Darnell will take a break. Bank sets her play. Pandora on the wing. Nothing back top the key. Oh, nice pick by Ty Mitchell. She's going to take it all the way. Left handed layup and good. That brings the Red Devils back within two now. 15 to play here in the first half. Brown County will probably get the last shot off. Oakley on the wing. She's looking to drive. Takes it up. Kicks it back out to Callahan for three. No good. Ball on the floor. Brown County controls, and that'll do it. So at the end of the first half, the Lady Devils trail by two, 27 to 25. You're watching Red Devil Basketball on the greenupbeacon.com. Houston People's Bank has six convenient locations to serve you. From South Shore to the main office, First and People's Bank has been serving this area with complete banking services since 1932. Visit the home office near you, First and People's Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We are the home office. Come visit any of our six locations. First and People's our patients are priority number one. For the seventh straight year, Our Lady of Belfont Hospital has received Health Grades Outstanding Patient Experience Award, and the hospital continues to be placed in the top 5% in the nation for outstanding patient experience. The Russell Girls soccer team played against the top ranked teams in state and out of state and finished 17 and 5. This team was one of the hardest working and dedicated teams we have had in a long time. A team from this area making it to
Stoltz Pharmacy is now offering patients compounding for their prescription needs. Stoltz Pharmacy is the only pharmacy in the area that is PCCA certified. We can provide you with hormone replacement, neuropathy creams, scar creams, pediatric prescriptions, and we can even help you with your veterinarian needs. If you have any questions, please call 606-834-1052. That's 834-1052. Stoltz Pharmacy in Green Flatwoods in Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stoltz Pharmacy. That was the Russell Dance Team. Some halftime stats for you. For the Lady Red Devils, uh, Maggie Jackson-Sump, three for five from field goal range. Ty Mitchell, three from seven. Madison Darnell, three of four. Alexis Maynard, 0 of two. Shelby Huddleston, three of four. Rachel Michael, 0 of one. And Shelby Watkins, 0 for two. For the Lady Vikings, Plank was two for two. Hannah Bandura, one for three. 
Tori Mitchell, two for two. Allison Callahan was three for six. Sarah Purdy, three for 10. And Summer Oakley, 0 for four. So we go in, get ready to start the second half here in about two and a half minutes. The Lady Vikings have a two-point lead over your Lady Devils, 27-25. We thank you for tuning in here. I'm Keith Atkins filling in for the legendary Hank Bond, Kristen Keaton on camera tonight. We'll be back on the air tomorrow night about 7.20 as the Lady Devils will host the Kittens from Ashland. Expect a great ball game there. So you're watching Lady Red Devil Basketball on the GreenitBeacon.com. Pharmacy is now offering patients compounding for their prescription needs. Stoll's Pharmacy is the only pharmacy in the area that is PCCA certified. We can provide you with hormone replacement, neuropathy creams, scar creams, pediatric prescriptions, and we can even help you with your veterinarian needs. If you have any questions, please call 606-834-1052. That's 834-1052. Stoltz Pharmacy in Greenup, Flatwoods, and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stoltz Pharmacy. Meredith Chiropractic. You will enjoy state-of-the-art chiropractic facilities and discover the true wellness lifestyle. Dr. Terry Meredith is a member of Great Doctors of Chiropractic and has helped many in the Ashland area experience natural healing without surgery or drugs. If you're looking for a skilled chiropractic doctor, visit MeredithChiropractic.com, call 329-8158, or visit Dr. Meredith's office at 2120 Carter Avenue in Ashland. At Meredith, the fine people at Carmen Funeral Home have been working with families in need for over 100 years. Carmen Funeral Home offers compassionate and caring services to those in their time of need, from prearrangement to final arrangements. With two convenient locations in Flatwoods and Russell, Carmen Funeral Home, putting people first since 1913. Welcome back to Marv Meredith Gymnasium as we're about 20 seconds away from starting the second half here. Been a back and forth game as we've traded leads several times and had several ties with the Lady Vikings with the two point lead now, 27-25 as the Lady Red Devils are coming back onto the court. It'll be Red Devil basketball side out. As soon as the Lady Vikings come out of the huddle over there, we'll be underway. Again, tomorrow night's action is the Lady Devils hosting the Kittens from Ashland. So be sure to tune back in as Hank Bond will be back in town and be back on the play-by-play. -play and I'll be running the camera for him. So we expect some good things for tomorrow night. 7.30 tip-off time. Should be on the air around 7.20 if everything's on time. And here we go. Second half action. Red Devils got the ball. Darnell out front. She'll drive in, put up a floater, bounces around, comes out, rebound by Rowan County. Plank hits Bandor on the wing. She looks inside to Purdy. Purdy inside. The Callahan's couldn't connect with it. Here comes Ty Mitchell with the Lady Devils. She was double teamed. She gets rid of it back over to Maynard. Maynard's going to drive in, puts up too hard off the glass. Rebound, Lady Vikings. Here's Plank. She kicks it down court to Bandor. Bandor across to Oakley. Pop the key back to Plank. Callahan. She'll bring the ball back around. Mitchell goes for the steal. Picks it off. She hits Huddleston for the easy layup. Tie ball game. Plank brings it back down for Round County. Finds Callahan on the wing. Darnell is all up in her face there, nothing going. Plank works inside the Bandor. Bandor across to Oakley. Top the key to Plank. Plank tries to drive in. She'll pull up, take one from the free throw line. Gets a shooter's roll there. 29-27. Puts the Lady Vikings back on top. Darnell getting her instructions from the sideline. Coach Mandy Lane. She's picked up by Callahan. Jack and Suck working inside. Fine huddle since she'll pull up for a little six footer. Too strong. Rebound Rowan. Jack and Suck almost had her tied up there. Rowan County gets back away from it. Blank inside to Purdy. She'll take it up. Left handed layup. Good. Lady Vikings up by four now. Nice shot of Darnell as she's looking over towards the bench. 
That's her instructions. She'll drive. Ty Mitchell on the wing. Tries to drive in. She'll draw a whistle. It's going to go against Plank. Nicole Plank. That's her first. Russell ball side out. Maynard inbounds. Gets it into Mitchell. Mitchell drives, takes it all the way up, lays it up. Not strong enough. Rebound is on the floor. Round County controls. There's Callahan. She's double team. She gets it over to Plank. Plank finds Bandora in the corner. Nothing there. Callahan top of the key. Tries to go inside to Purdy. She's tied up by Maynard. Jump ball. Ball stay with Round County. Plank the inbounds under their own basket. She finds Bandora. She'll take the 15-footer. Nope. Comes off. Maynard controls. Here come the Lady Devils. Trailing by four. 5-15 to play in the third period. Huddleston will back up and reset everything. Maynard, top of the key. Jack can suck out front. She'll drive in, lay it up. Too strong. Ball's on the floor. Round County controls. Plank, she was bringing down. She was looking. Pretty couldn't break free. She still gets it inside to her. Pretty gets called for the travel. No basket. 31-27 now. Lady Red Devils trailing by four. Darnell checks over for the play. Ty Mitchell on the wing. She gets a cross court back to Mitchell. Mitchell will drive. She'll get it up. She was blocked there. No whistles. Here comes the Lady Vikings. Callahan. She's looking up for Purdy. And gets it across to Oakley. For two. We want to have a timeout on the floor here. You're watching Lady Red Devil Basketball on the Green at Beacon.com. I go to Ashland Community and Technical College because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go to get a better job. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons, Ashland Community and Technical College. Higher education begins here. Welcome back to the second half action here at Marv Meredith Gymnasium. Lady Vikings are leading the Lady Red Devils 33 to 27. We get ready to return to action here. It'll be Red Devil basketball. Coming the length of the court, moving left to right. Darnell at the helm. Find Huddleston. Huddleston will take over. Bring around the right side. Good defense by Lady Vikings. Finds Maynard. Maynard dribble drives. Puts it up and no good. Gets her own rebound. She kicks it out to Darnell. Ty Mitchell for three. No good. Too strong. Huddleston got the rebound. Jackamstuck still on the floor. Lady Vikings control. Here comes Bandura. She dumps it off to Callahan. She'll lay it up and good. 35 27. Lady Vikings on top now. 3.45 left to play in the third period. Been back and forth all night. Lady Vikings had pulled out once before. Tried to dump inside of Jack and Suck, taken away by Purdy. She'll dump it off to Plank. Plank hits Bandura down long. Nothing doing. Callahan now. Finds Oakley in the middle. Nothing there. Back to Plank. Inside to Purdy. She's teamed up with Jack and Suck with the block. Last touch by Round County, Russell basketball. Tori Mitchell check back in for the Lady Vikings. Shelby Watkins will check in for the Lady Devils. As Maynard will take a breather. Darnell sets her offense, kicks it over to Mitchell. Mitchell to Michael in the corner for three, too short. Darnell grabs the rebound. She'll go up with the strong, draws the foul. So 
That'll send Madison Darnell to the free throw line, who's shooting about 68% from the line for the season. She looks in, misses the first one. Second shot's up, and that one goes in. 35-28 now. Lady Vikings on top. Lady Devils, full court pressure. Michael just about picked that one off. Tori Mitchell, she gets that over to Plank. Plank's going to go all the way. Ty Mitchell cut her off. Plank will shoot the little six-footer. No good. Knocked out of bounds. They said last touch by Russell. Huddleston checks back in. Maynard checks back in for Lady Devils. Jack and Suck will get a breather. Michael will go to the bench as well. Lady Vikings taking the ball out under their own basket. She gets inside to Mitchell, puts it up, no good. Rebound Oakley, she puts it up, no good. Out of bounds, Rowan County basketball. Rowan County the inbounds now. She finds Callahan, she'll put it up too strong. Rebound by Huddleston. Huddleston takes it down. Tries to get inside to Watkins. Picked off by Rowan County. Rowan County kicks down court to Tori Mitchell. She'll slow things down. Plank Callahan on the wing. Inside to Oakley. She about lost control. Tries to get back out front. Huddleston interrupted that. And Plank will pick up the foul as the referee took the basketball off the back of the head. Russell basketball. 35-28, Lady Vikings on top. 2.15 left to play in the third period. Ty Mitchell on the wing. Finds Maynard in the corner, nothing there. Mitchell will bring it back on top. Throws it inside to Watkins, pass a little hot. Russell controls now, picked off by Round County. Kicked out to Oakley, Oakley's gonna take it up, lay it up, no good, rebound Watkins. She's double team. ball on the floor, tie up. Possession arrow was in Russell's favor. Minute 52 left to play in the third period. Jack and Suck will check back into the game. Ty Mitchell will come over and take a breather. Maynard inbounds to Darnell. Finds Huddleston. She dribbles around the left side. Nothing happened. Good defense inside to Darnell. Darnell spin move, puts it up, count that one. Russell closes the five now. Round count, kicks down court to Oakley, and she's going to be fouled by Maynard. Oakley done a nice little head fake there, and Maynard just kind of run into her. But Maynard just couldn't slow down is all it was. Nonetheless, that'll be her second of the game. Callahan top to key. Plank for three. Too strong. Rebound on the floor. Callahan controls. Finds Mitchell on the corner. She'll dribble drive. Kicks inside the band door. She fights. Oakley for a little 15 footer. Nope. Too strong. We're going to have a tie up again. Rowan County controls this time. 112 left to play. Red Devils trail by five now. Plank inbound. She's looking for some help. Finds Callahan on the wing. Over to Mitchell. She'll take the three. She's blocked by Darnell. Ball on the floor. Jackham's up. Picks it up. Darnell kicks it out to Huddleston. Huddleston has it taken away. Darnell takes it back. Darnell, she'll take it all the way. Put it up and score. Less than a minute here to play in the third. Long pass down to Oakley. She's going to drive all the way. Put it up and good. 37-32, here comes Darnell of the Lady Devils. A little out of control there, she picks up a dribble. It's Maynard, Maynard's gonna drive. She'll take it all the way to the hoop. Count the basket and the foul. Maynard will shoot one here and she has a chance to bring the Lady Devils back within two. They're down right now, but 
Shots up and counted. Two-point basketball game now. Ty Mitchell checks back in for Russell. Purdy checks back in for Round County. Full court pressure from the Devils. Round County breaks it. Mitchell, she dumps inside to Oakley. Oakley's blocked. Picks it back up. Inside the band door. Cross court to Callahan. Oakley in the corner. Tries to get inside to Purdy. She loses control. Huddleston trying to break through. Body's falling all over the place there. Goes against Oakley of Brown County. That's her first. Be Russell Ball side out. 17.9 left to play in the third period. Russell Cherylin by two, 37-35. Ty Mitchell on top. Good round, good defense by Brown County. Callahan steals it. She takes it coast to coast in. She is blocked and fouled. See which one they're going to call it on. I'm going to say it's on Huddleston. So that'll be Huddleston's first. That'll send Allison Callahan to the line for the Lady Vikings. She'll shoot two with a two point lead. Three point, three point zero seconds. Three seconds to play in the third period. First shot's up and good. Second shot, count that one as well. Three seconds left to play here in the third period. Russell gets it into Watkins. Two seconds shoot, Huddleston. She's going to have to get it off. Nope, nothing to get it off. <laughs> so at the end of the third period here, Lady Vikings 39 and the Lady Devils 35. You're watching Red Devil Basketball on the greenupbeacon.com. Our Lady of Belfont Hospital says thank you to our patients for this People's Choice honor. Our Lady of Belfont Hospital on a mission for good health for you and your family. Our patients are priority number one. For the seventh straight year, Our Lady of Belfont Hospital has received Health Grades Outstanding Patient Experience Award. The hospital continues to be placed in the top 5% in the nation for outstanding patient experience. Our Lady of Belfont Hospital says thank you to our patients for this People's Choice honor. Our Lady of Belfont Hospital on a mission for good health for you and your family. The fine people at Carmen Funeral Home have been working with families in need for over 100 years. Carmen Funeral Home offers compassionate and caring services to those in their time of need from pre-arrangement to final arrangements with two convenient locations in Flatwoods and Russell, Carmen Funeral Home. Putting people first since 1913. Welcome back to the fourth quarter action here as we get set to go. 39-35 is our score here at Marvin Meredith Gymnasium. Russell controls the ball, moving left right. Madison Darnell gets her play from the sideline. Good pressure defense by the Lady Vikings. Jack them up. She'll drive in. Lays it up too hard. Huddleston tries to save it, but out of bounds. Be Round County basketball. Russell in the full court pressure now. Mitchell for Round County. She breaks it, almost stripped away by Watkins. Ty Mitchell went for a steal, miss. Callahan to Bandura. Bandura drives in, tries to get it to Purdy, knocked away. Ball on the floor. Purdy picks it up, and she'll put it up. No good. Ball on the floor. We'll get a whistle there. That'll go against Darnell. That'll be her first. Maynard will check in for Watkins for Lady Devils. Brown County inbounds under their own goal. Mitchell finds Van Duren. She'll put it up. Rolls around, gets a good roll. 41-35 now, Lady Vikings. Russell needs somebody to get a hot hand here. Darnell, she's going to drive, puts a little floater up. No, can't get it to go down. Ball on the floor. Pass touch by Russell. It was Huddleston went to the floor trying to save it. Round County ball. 
Russell will put the press on. Good pressure. Picked off there by Darnell. She'll stole a backward shot up, but Mitchell will get the rebound, and she's knocked to the floor. But she'll go to the free throw line now. Mitchell will go to the line here. First shot, bounces out. Clyde Mitchell only shooting 30% from the free throw line. She puts her second one up, she'll get that one to go. 41-36 now, 6.54 to play in the game. Regulation. Darnell hits the floor. Bandura, she dumps inside to Mitchell. Mitchell will do a little reverse layup, and it's good. 43-36 now. Maynard controls the ball for the Red Devils. Finds Maynard in the corner. Maynard kicks inside to Jack and sucks. She'll work against Purdy with Mitchell, and she'll put it up and get fouled. It's going to send Jack and suck to the line. And shooting about 69% from the free throw line. That one goes in for. She'll help her average on the night from the free throw line. So her second shot goes up. Count that one as well. 43-38 now. Six and a half to play in the regulation. Full court pressure. Mitchell controls the ball. Almost taken away by Russell. Pandora could round. She gets it back off to Mitchell. Mitchell takes it in, pulls up. Six footer, good. From the Lady Devils. Darnell receives the play from the sideline. Pulls up a dribble. Needs a little help. There's Maynard. Maynard to Ty Mitchell on the left side. Mitchell tries to get inside the Huddleston, throws it away. Comes Tory Mitchell of Rowan County. Quickly cut off. Callahan top the key. Bandora on the wing. Gets inside Tory Mitchell, top the key. Callahan brings it back out. Find Bandora inside to Oakley to Purdy. She'll lay it up and in there. Nine-point lead now for Lady Vikings. 5.25 to play in the regulation. And we'll have a timeout on the court as you're watching Red Devil Basketball on GreenAndBeacon.com. Visit the Sungate Alpaca Company to experience the vibrant cultural heritage of South America and discover the extraordinary luxury fabric called alpaca. Wrap yourself in a stylish alpaca scarf, Transform your living room by adding texture and color with a hand-loomed alpaca throw blanket and add a little extra warmth and cozy fashion with an alpaca hat and matching gloves. Visit SungateAlpaca.com for all your alpaca needs. Find us on Facebook for special deals and inventory updates. Shop Sungate Alpaca. The Ashland Community and Technical College. Because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go to get a better job. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons, Ashland Community and Technical College. Higher education begins here. Welcome back to Red Devil Basketball. We're in the fourth period of play here. Round County leads 47-38 over the Lady Devils. I'm Keith Atkins bringing you play-by-play, -play, filling in for Hank Bond tonight. Kristen Keaton doing the camera work tonight. We'll be back on the air tomorrow night for more Lady Red Devil action as they take on the Kittens of Ashland. Tip-off at 7.30. We should be on the air around 7.20 if everything's on time. We invite you to join us for that. The Lady Red Devils are in a battle here trying to come back, and they just threw it away there. Brown County now controls. Good double team pressure. I thought it was tied up there, but I believe they're going to call a foul against Ty Mitchell. That'll be Mitchell's second of the game. 4.58 left to play in regulation. The common foul. Brown County will take it out. 
Length of, go, length of court, full court pressure from Lady Devils. Brown County kicks it out long, finds Oakley. She takes in. Darnell picked her up and blocks the shot. Nice defense by Madison Darnell. Way to recover and get back there. Brown County will need the inbounds now under their own goal. Mitchell taking it out for them. Looking for Callahan in the backcourt. Almost picked off by Huddleston. Huddleston will commit the foul. That'll be Shelby Huddleston's second foul of the game. That'll send Callahan to the line for Rowan County. First shot's up and good. Kristen gets pulled in close there. We can see the conversation going back and forth between the players. Second shot's up and good. Maynard inbounds, Darnell. She'll bring the ball down the court, pick up her instructions from the sideline. Mandy Lane yells him into her. Lady Devils working the ball around. Darnell directing traffic. Ty Mitchell on the wing. Finds Jack from Suck for three. Nope, a little short. Rebound by Bandora of Brown County. Picked off by Darnell. Darnell drive in. She'll put it up and no good. Jack and Suck with the rebound. Lays it up. Count the basket and the foul. 49-40 now. Jack and Suck will have a chance to cut the lead to eight here. 425 left to play in regulation. There you go. She found the ball again. Shots off the front of the rim. Rebound by Rowan. Kicks out front to Callahan. Callahan pulls up. Runs Purdy. Purdy will kick it back out front to Mitchell. Rowan will reset. Pandora on the wing. She looks. Not much movement going on. Mitchell back up way up backcourt. She'll drive in. Dump inside to Oakley and she'll lay it up and in. 11 point lead now for Lady Vikings. Largest lead of the game here. Russell had stayed with them pretty much. And that actually led a few times. Maynard. Maynard throws it away here to Mitchell. She picks it off. Mitchell will pull out, slow things down. Finds Bandora. Bandora finds Oakley in the corner. Way back out front to Callahan. She'll pull up. Nope. Decided not to take the shot. Brown County just trying to kill some clock now. Dump inside the band door. She'll put it up and good. Stuck in the back door there on Russell. 53-40 now. Lady Vikings on top. And we're going to have a break in the action here as Russell will take a timeout. You're watching Lady Devil Basketball on the greenatbeacon.com. Pharmacy is now offering patients compounding for their prescription needs. Stoll's Pharmacy is the only pharmacy in the area that is PCCA certified. We can provide you with hormone replacement, neuropathy creams, scar creams, pediatric prescriptions, and we can even help you with your veterinarian needs. If you have any questions, please call 606-834-1052. That's 834-1052. Stoll's Pharmacy in Greenup Flatwoods in Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stoll's Pharmacy. Stoltz Pharmacy is... Our patients are priority number one. For the seventh straight year, Our Lady of Belfont Hospital has received Health Grades Outstanding Patient Experience Award, and the hospital continues to be placed in the top 5% in the nation for outstanding patient experience. Our Lady of Belfont Hospital says thank you to our patients for this People's Choice honor. Our Lady of Belfont Hospital on a mission for good health for you and your family. Welcome back to Lady Red Devil Basketball here at Russell Marvin Meredith Gymnasium. We're in fourth quarter action here. 309 left to play as we get ready to come back. Rowan County with a 13 point lead over the Lady Devils, 53 to 40. Lady Devils will inbounds. Madison Darnell set the offense up. Hines Maynard back to Darnell, cross court to Ty Mitchell. Mitchell's trying to look inside to Huddleston. A lot of traffic there. Huddleston controls. She dribbles in, drives, lays it up and good. Two 
At under three to play, almost picked off by Mitchell. Callahan controlled it. Kicks it over to Oakley, back out front to Plank. Brown County likes to play a little keep away here and kill some clock. Plank dumps inside to Oakley. She'll put it up and good. Oakley beat uh, Mitchell back to the basket there. Caught her on the back door. 55-42, 2.20 to play in regulation. Mitchell wants the ball. She's clapping for it on this side. Doesn't get it. Goes inside to Huddleston. She works around, spins move. Ball rolls all the way around the rim. Comes off. Jack and Sup rebounds and then throws it away. Said it was last touch by round, so it'll stay with Russell. Maynard the inbounds. Finds Ty Mitchell. Tried to get over to Huddleston. It was kicked by Callahan, so it'll stay with Russell. 203 left to play in regulation. 55-42 is our score. Round County on top. Maynard will inbound to Darnell. Darnell drives. Cut off. She's trying to work it inside. Goes cross court to Ty Mitchell. She'll put it up. No good. Rebounds on the floor. Jack and Suck gets it. She'll put it up and in. Van Door crosses the half court line. Dumps it off to Callahan. Callahan double team. Plank. Top of the key. Russell dropped back a little bit. Van Door in the corner. Picked up by Darnell. Plank out front. Callahan on the wing. Mitchell come up, pick her up, put a little pressure on. Inside to Oakley. Maynard's there. Van Dorn the wing. Darnell all over. Pretty over to Callahan. Back to Plank. Huddleston gets her. Minute to play here in regulation. Cross court, Callahan picked off by, was touched by Jack and stuff, but Mitchell picks it up. She dumps inside to Huddleston. She'll lay it up and good. 55-46 now as we're under a minute here in regulation. Oakley underneath, she'll pull the ball back out. Picked off by Huddleston. Huddleston's going to bring it all the way. See if she can finish, and nope, rebound by Maynard. She put it up and gets the foul. Russell playing with some intensity here, but I believe it's a little too little too late. They should have played with that kind of intensity about four minutes ago. Well, Maynard will shoot too. First one's up and bounces off the side of the rim. No good. Tori Mitchell will check back in for the Lady Vikings as Oakley will get a break here at the final 37 seconds of the quarter. Maynard second shot. She can get that one to go. 55-47 now. Eight point lead with 35 seconds to play. All kinds of pressure here. Round County throw away. Be Russell basketball. Well, Russell will have a chance to close it We're just by Six points, Darnell, one and three. Maynard's going to take a three, way short. Rebound by Mitchell of Brown County, and that's pretty much going to do it, I believe. See if they foul her, and they do. Timeout. Timeout before the foul. So you're watching Red Devil Basketball on the Green at Beacon.com. Bank has six convenient locations to serve you. From South Shore to the main office, First and People's Bank has been serving this area with complete banking services since 1932. Visit the home office near you, First and People's Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. We are the home office. Come visit any of our six locations. First and People's College Bank. is a big decision. Ohio University Southern offers more than 30 degree and certificate programs. Whether you're in Ohio or just across the river in Kentucky or West Virginia, our tuition is a best value in the area. Attend a world-class university and stay close to home with free parking. Ohio University Southern in Ironton and Proctorville. Imagine your possibilities. Enroll today. Visit ohio.edu southern or call 740-533-4600. Welcome back to Marvin Meredith Gymnasium here at Russell High School as the 
Final 15 seconds here in the fourth period. Russell trailing by eight. Brown County tries the inbounds, knocked out of bounds by Russell. Thirteen point six left to play here in regulation. Round County in inbounds. Gets it into Mitchell. She dumps it over to Bandora. And we'll get a foul on probably Maynard, I believe. That's Maynard's third of the game. Eleven point seven left to play. Brown County inbounds. Out of bounds, last touch by Russell. Stays with Brown County. Ten point three left. Find Callahan. Callahan gets it over to Purdy on the wing. Back to Callahan. She'll go cross court to Bandor. Bandor top the key to Plank. And that'll do it here from Marv Meredith Gymnasium. Rowan County 55, the Lady Red Devils 47. So that will drop the Lady Devils to 16 and 10 on the season. And Rowan County will improve to 13 and 10. We thank you for joining us here. And we'll be back on the air tomorrow night for Lady Red Devils action as they take on the Kittens. We'll step away for just a second. Take a break, come back and have just a few stats for you. You're watching Red Devil Basketball on thegreenatbeacon.com. Offering patients compounding for their prescription needs. Stoll's Pharmacy is the only pharmacy in the area that is PCCA certified. We can provide you with hormone replacement, neuropathy creams, scar creams, pediatric prescriptions, and we can even help you with your veterinarian needs. If you have any questions, please call 606-834-1052. That's 834-1052. Stoll's Pharmacy in Greenup Flatwoods in Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stoll's Pharmacy. Company to experience the vibrant cultural heritage of South America and discover the extraordinary luxury fabric called alpaca. Wrap yourself in a stylish alpaca scarf, transform your living room by adding texture and color with a hand-loomed alpaca throw blanket, and add a little extra warmth and cozy fashion with an alpaca hat and matching gloves. Visit sungatealpaca.com for all your alpaca needs. Find us on Facebook for special deals and inventory updates. Shop Sungate Alpaca. I go to Ashland Community and Technical College because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go to get a better job. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons, Ashland Community and Technical College. Higher education begins here. Welcome back to Marv Meredith Gymnasium as the Lady Devils fall to the Lady Vikings 55 to 47. Number your stats for the game for Russell. Jack and Suck was 5 of 10 from field goal range. Ty Mitchell was 3 of 11. Madison Darnell was 5 of 10. Alexis Maynard, 1 of 6. Shelby Huddleston was 6 of 10. Rachel Michael was 0 for 2. And Shelby Watkins was 0 for 2. For the Lady Vikings, Nicole Plank was... Three, three of five. Hannah Bandura was three of six. Tori Mitchell was four of five. Allison Callahan was four for ten. Sarah Purdy was five of fourteen. And Summer Oakley was four of twelve from the field. But again, you've been watching Lady Red Devil basketball here on agreementbeacon.com. We'll be back on the air tomorrow night for some more ladies' action as the Lady Red Devils host the Kittens of Ashland. Tip-off should be around 7.30. If everything's on time, we'll go on the air about 7.20. Hank Bond will be back with us for the play-by-play, -play, and I'll be running the camera. I'm Keith Atkins for Kristen Keaton. Thank you for joining us, and we wish you all a good night.